What's up guys, Joe's here. Um, I had a couple requests for some uh, knots that I use. I'm gonna show you a couple in a couple different videos, but the first one I'm gonna show you is how I make my leaders. <clears throat> and I use, um, I just use mono. I don't buy tippet material and this and that that's tapered. It's a waste of money. Um, I, I don't really do too much freshwater fishing, so I don't know about trout and stuff like that, but stripers, bluefish, they're not really too skittish when once it comes to the leader. So I use regular trilene 25 pound test and I bring it down to 15 then down to 10 and I tie it up myself. And uh, these, this is the knot that I use um, when I'm connecting the two lines. Okay, so I have a little regular cord here. Let's make a face here a little bit. And this is what we're gonna do. Okay. We have two lines. Basically, what we're going to do is cross them. Like so. Just like that. Now you're going to take one side of the line and you're going to wrap it around five times, uh, three times, just for. I'm going to wrap this three times because it's harder to cinch it down because it's not lined. So I just do three wraps. Now, what you're going to do is take this and put it right here. Okay. Now you have something that looks like this. Then you're going to do the same thing with this side onto the other line. So you go one, two, three. Now again, once you do, when you're doing it with a regular line, go around five, six times. It's easier to do it. Okay, now you take the tag end and stick it into the same hole where you stuck the other one. Now you pull this tight. Once you stitch it down, you have a nice smooth, you would cut that, cut that, and you have it ready to go. Okay, now I'm going to show you with regular line how nice it comes out. Okay, this is what I use for my, my tip of material. Big game, 30 pounds. Okay. I'm going to do it once with the regular mono, then I'll do it again with uh, the big stuff. Okay, so we have 15 pound test, big game, and 30 pound test. There's the 30, there's this. You guys aren't going to be able to see what I'm doing, but I'm doing the exact same thing. I just want to show you how nice the knot comes out. Put about three inches on each side. Okay. Now I'm just going to show you what it looks like. You can't, if you learn how to do it with the other uh, stuff, this is what I'm just showing you. Right there. They're free to leave this. Okay. We have 30 pound test here. There's our knot. And we can you can trim those tag ends. I don't have a nail clipper. And there's our 15. And this knot won't go nowhere. It won't it won't hurt your casting. And okay. It's not going nowhere. I'll show you one more time with the big stuff. <clears throat> Leprosy is most prevalent in areas such as Southeast Asia. There's a lot in Africa, okay. India, and uh, in, in parts of Brazil. 
Cross it. Nepal has around 7,000 lepers. And the disease One, also survives in the two, United States. Three. In the last few years, take this. Put it there. 100 to 200 cases in the U.S. have been identified. Also called Hansen's disease. There you go. Leprosy is caused by a bacteria One, that first manifests two, as a three. rash. The bacteria now into there. rise in cooler temperatures, so the disease often develops first on the body's extremities. Untreated. This is what you have. Damage, you would lick it. Pull it. Contrary to popular belief, leprosy doesn't eat away at flesh. That's what you got. Rather, the loss of limbs is okay. a process that begins with injury. I'll show you guys one more time injury with this. Sufferers don't feel the tissue damage that happens with leprosy is a result of real easy, real fast, not injury because of loss of sensation. So a person who uh, is touching something that's hot or cuts themselves but doesn't realize it and doesn't manage it like you would if you had the normal pain response. And that's what happens often with the, the, the deformities that you see. Leprosy is disfiguring and it's been known to kill. These facts alone are enough to spread fear about the disease. But it's the belief the disease is contagious that has turned lepers into history's archetypal outcasts. I think the functions of taboo uh, have to do with avoidance of harm. And perhaps in the context of leprosy, uh, somebody senses uh, infectivity or some sort of danger, they might avoid touching or avoid uh, contact with that person. 21-year-old Absara Puyo would appear to be an extreme risk of catching leprosy. She lives in the Kokomo colony, surrounded by 200 leprosy sufferers. Small little knot. Beautiful thing. Her parents, Peace. Kanji and Loki.